Hello, and welcome to Best WP7 Games. Today we're taking a look at the um, slightly unfortunately titled Chester's Revenge. If you want to know why it's unfortunately titled, have a look at my written review. Uh, anyway, as you can see, this is a game well, about a guy called Chester, who's a chef, who's just had his restaurant criticised by a bunch of other chefs. So... He's going to get it around the only way he knows how, which appears to be by smacking people about the head with a uh, pattern. Fair enough. So basically what we have here is a side-scrolling beat-em-up in the old sort of vein of Golden Axe and uh, Streets of Rage and such. Controls aren't brilliant. I'm, they're what you'd expect, I guess. Um, but they suffer from all the problems that you always get with a virtual stick and uh, virtual buttons, i.e. that it's a bit too fiddly, you can often miss hit. To be fair, it's less of an issue normally, again, as almost always the case, it's a little bit hard to play this while um, there's a camera in the way. It's even more easy, it's even easier, sorry, to accidentally press the wrong thing or just not hit a button at all. As you can see, I picked up a uh, chili pepper from the last enemy. So uh, that's how I just set that poor guy on fire by pressing the special attack button. And here we go. Notice that the death is not permanent. There are no lives, unlike most scrolling beat maps, but equally there's no continues to run out, and if you get the game over, it doesn't restart the level, it just restarts you from the current wave of enemies at full health. But you do lose your aura uh, at any power ups you picked up. That's about it. So yeah, you're saying the uh, controls are a bit fiddly, and they aren't helped by the well, the relatively slow animations on your character. They're just a bit too. They take a bit too long to come out, which can be annoying when. I don't pick up this power up. You notice notice he just ate a plaster. That's how he heals himself. He eats the plasters he finds lying around. I also just picked up a uh, white rather a large bulb of garlic, and of course, being garlic. His specialty is to burp, yes. Which will stun enemies, though um, it does appear to be killing these ones outright. If they weren't getting knocked, weren't getting killed by it, they would just be stunned for a while. It's always a useful ability. But yes, again, all the animations are quite slow. On, on the special moves, uh, it's slightly more understandable. It gives them a bit more... It means you don't sort of overuse them. But then again, you've also got that uh, green bar, which does that for you. There we go, stunned enemy. Um, so I'm not sure about that, but I can understand it on the special attacks more. It's the fact that your normal attacks are quite slow, it's very easy to overextend yourself. You've also got that little spinning attack, which is a charged attack, and the fact that takes a few seconds to come out is fine. I'm going to skip ahead, because literally nothing else happens, it's always the same type of enemies. This is the boss at the end of the level. You can see there's a giant ball in the chef's outfit. Um, So yes, he's got a big thing. I'm not actually sure what he's hold carrying, hmm. but uh, he attacks you with special attacks. He takes a lot more hits than the average enemy. Burns you like that. That's about it. Um, so yeah, anyway, you fight him. I'll beat him shortly. Almost dead, I think. But when when you do beat him, it instantly cuts to the next level. Which is, in fact, just more of the same, with, again, the same enemies, just a different backdrop. Nothing else changes. I think the enemies have slightly more health, but they all look the same, act the same. And that's about it. There's not really much to the game. Though it's very cheap, well, I'm not sure it's worth it. It's available on the marketplace now.